Hi, it's Bobby with Office Tracker. Today we're going to go over customizing your schedule view using the event field display options. Office Tracker schedule displays can be customized in a variety of ways to make it easier for you to see information vital to you. One great way to adjust your schedule's display is by choosing specifically what you want to see in the order you want to see it in. First, we will go over how to set your preferences when using the web client. To find these options, click right here where it says day, week, month, or planner, whatever you have it currently set at, and click view and default options. From here, you can make all of your changes. You need to select which view you're editing. You can set each view up differently. You can adjust the minimum column size to accommodate the amount of schedules that you need to see in your view at one time. You can adjust the start time, the end time, the increments. In the event information area, you can select which items that you would like to appear on your schedule. If it's checked, it will appear on your schedule. If you want to adjust the order that these appear in, click on the one, say I want end time to go above link contacts. The arrows to adjust are right here. So if I go up, it moves it up one. If I go down, it will move it down. You have a few more options over here, and then right here are the options to set up the way that your contact information displays if you wanted your contact information. For instance, right here, Kimberly Smalls is my contact, and I have her phone number appearing as well. You select which information you would like to appear in your schedule, and the toggle buttons work the same as far as moving the order around. Select OK. You also have some default options you can set. You can set which view that your Office Tracker web client opens up to every time. And you can set some more defaults for your events, notifications, and reminders. Click OK when you're done, and you will see your new settings on the screen. Another question that I'm commonly asked is can you arrange the order that your schedule appears in as far as the different schedules that you have on your screen at one time? You can adjust this. When using the web client, you click on the names, and then from here you use the toggle. Say I want Dr. Brown to appear first. I can click on up and toggle him up to the top, select OK, and he will move over to the first slot. Now, if you're using the desktop client, you have the same options, it just looks a little bit different. In order to edit these options in the desktop view, you'll need to click on View, View Options. The only difference is, when you're using the desktop version, it gives you the ability to edit the font of your header date right here. So you can change that by using these right here. I could go bookman and say okay. You can also change the way the events appear, the font, select the options that you would like, say okay, and apply. You will notice the changes that I've made have immediately been reflected in my schedule. If you want to adjust the order that your schedules appear when using the desktop client, it's even easier. All you need to do is click and hold the one you want to move and drag it and drop it. You can reorder these however you like. That is all for today. Happy scheduling!